Can a murderer go to heaven? Let's find out. Okay, let me tell you a story. John, who was once indifferent to religion, had a profound encounter with Christ and prayed to accept him, feeling at peace and confident his salvation was secure. Despite this, he continued living in sin, convinced that his occasional prayers and belief were enough for eternal security. Now, let me ask you, do you think John is still going to heaven? While most would likely say no, the Reformation introduced once saved, always saved, which claims that accepting Jesus guarantees salvation no matter what happens afterward. But does that really make sense? If all that's required to get into heaven is saying you believe in Jesus, wouldn't hell be pretty empty? Doesn't sound like much of a narrow road, does it? Let's turn to scripture and see what it truly says about salvation and whether it can be lost. Now, those who believe that once a person comes to faith in Christ and is sealed with the Holy Spirit can never lose their salvation, often point to verses like John chapter 10, verse 28, where Jesus says, No one can snatch them out of my hand. Or Romans 8, verse 1, which says, There is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. These verses are frequently used to argue that salvation is permanent once received. But does the Bible teach that salvation requires no further action? Take for example Galatians chapter 5 verse 4 which says, You are severed from Christ. You who would be justified by the law, you have fallen away from grace. To give some context, Paul is warning the Galatians that relying on circumcision or the old law pulls them away from Christ, keeping them enslaved to the law instead of living in the freedom Christ offers. Paul isn't just talking about losing some spiritual growth, but warning that falling from grace cuts you off from Christ. This means that Christians can forfeit or lose the grace that saves them. We see this even more clearly in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 4 to 6, which shows that a Christian who falls in apostasy and doesn't repent will lose their salvation, even if they once had genuine faith. Paul echoes this in Romans 11, where he gives another warning about continuing in the faith. Paul makes it clear, continue in God's kindness or you too will be cut off. If salvation couldn't be lost, why would such serious warnings be given? Now, Paul continually reminds Christians of the need to persevere in faith. It's not enough to have begun the race, you need to finish it. Why would Paul urge Christians to run to obtain salvation if it were already guaranteed? If once saved, always saved were true, Paul's warnings about discipline and perseverance would be meaningless. Even Paul himself admits that he works hard to keep from falling into sin. Clearly, salvation is not just a one-time event with lifetime validity, but a journey that requires perseverance. Paul isn't the only one who warns us about falling away, by the way. Jesus himself gives stern warnings to the churches in the book of Revelation. These were real churches filled with real followers of Christ that had accepted the gospel and lived as Christians. Yet Jesus warns them, unless they repent, they will be cut off. So, can a Christian lose their salvation? Scripture consistently teaches that salvation isn't guaranteed. It requires a relationship with Christ marked by perseverance, faith and repentance. Those who fall away and do not repent risk permanent separation from God. So, what do you think about this? Do you believe it's impossible to lose our salvation? Is it all in God's hands or do we have a role? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, let us know by liking and subscribing to our channel. It really helps us a lot. Until next time.